Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome to Hasibla Chronics. Friends, in this video, I am going to share a design detail of a normal used mobile battery charger. It is using HT203IC. Here we have one fuse. It's one ohm fusible resistor. Then we have four diodes here. One and four zero zero seven. After that we have a bulk capacitor 6.8 volt, 6.8 microfarad, 400 volt. This positive line goes directly to transformer primary winding. Then here we have startup resistor 2.2 mega ohm. It's going to IC pin number 1. Pin number 1 it's OB. Startup pin. OB is startup. Pin number 2 is VCC. In VCC pin we can apply 4.8 volt to 9.3 volt. It is maximum voltage level, it's minimum. At 330 volt we will receive approximately 5 volt at VCC pin. When the voltage will drop at full load condition we will receive this voltage. Then it's normal operating voltage 550 volt and its operating frequency is 67 kilo 66 kilohertz. 66 67 kilohertz it's normal operating frequency. Pin number three is ground. Pin number four is timing capacitor. Pin number five is feedback. Pin number six is ground sense. Pin number seven eight are collector outputs. Here capacitor. 2.2 mega ohm resistor pin number one then we have this number circuit 332 J capacitor 2A 332J and then we have this resistor 100K resistor FR107 this diode in parallel of the primary winding primary winding second and is connected to pin number seven and eight Pin number 2 is VCC from biasing winding from auxiliary winding. One end is connected to ground, second end is connected to FR104 rectifier and capacitor 47 microfarad. It's connected to pin number 2. Pin number 6 is current limiting resistor 1.2 ohm resistor 1 watt value. It is connected to pin number 6. Pin number 5 is feedback it is connected to optocoupler pin number three is ground pin number four is timing capacitor it's 681 it's code 681 transformer primary is 0.27 mm single wire 46 and 46 turns in sandwich winding first 46 turns and in the outermost area 46 turns in secondary because it is flyback so secondary winding will 180 degree out of phase 0.51 mm by refiller winding 7 turns SR310 rectifier diode 47 microfarad capacitor 10 volt in the output and we have 5.2 volt 2 ampere output and here is 5 ampere 5A2 silicon rectifier it is not a zener it is 5A2 rectifier and it is connected in reverse direction anode is connected to negative side because it have maximum 10 micro ampere leakage current reverse current so this reverse current is used to operate this PC817 and 560 ohm resistor is connected in positive terminal to pin number 1. 473 code capacitor is connected across the output transistor of this optocoupler to prevent from false switching. So it will give feedback pulses to pin number 5. This IC will switch at 67 kilohertz. It will make switching and it will store energy in the primary winding. In off period the energy will transfer to secondary and it will charge this. It will rectify and charge this capacitor. 
then after that it will again switch to replenish the energy in primary and in this way it will keep switching in the output if we see here here we have input terminals this input terminal is going directly to this resistor this resistor is going to these two diodes here we have diode here we have diode four diodes here one two three four these four diodes this diode and this diode is connected to capacitor positive terminal and these two diodes are connected to negative terminal the same time it is connected to PC817 this negative terminal is connected to PC817 this point and it is connected to IC pin number 5 5 6 7 8 7 8 are connected to transformer winding transformer winding this end is connected to positive terminal from here and negative terminal is connected to this VCC winding biasing winding auxiliary winding and the second end is here is connected one diode this one and this diode is connected to this capacitor here is VCC capacitor this one 47 micro 25 volt so VCC capacitor is connected to pin number 2 pin number 1 here we have startup resistor 2.2 mega and here we have in positive side one capacitor one resistor connected to this point and it is connected to this rectifier this one FR107 a diode is connected here in the parallel of this transformer and positive line here to here diode here to here resistor and here to here capacitor so pin number 6 is connected here a resistor between negative line this negative line here and here is connected a resistor this resistor 1.2 ohm 1 watt it is current limiting resistor so pin number 3 is connected to ground pin number 4 is CT here CT between ground and here is capacitor this small timing capacitor 681 this for switching frequency so this capacitor is here it is for frequency setting from 50 kilohertz to 70 kilohertz the frequency will based on this capacitor value so in the output section this end is coming to this rectifier it is SR310 and its output goes to this capacitor positive and ground ground is co connected to this transformer secondary side here and at this point we have one resistor here this resistor 560 ohm resistor and this resistor is connected to this PC817 this point and we have from here to here this diode 5A2 it is a simple rectifier silicon control silicon rectifier but it is connected in reverse condition how the negatives the anode is connected to negative of the capacitor so this capacitor 473 it is connected in the output side between ground ground and the collector of this uh, optocoupler pin number 3 and 4 to prevent from fault switching and it is connected to pin number 5 so pin number 5 is here transformer EI22 core 0.27 mm single wire 4646 46 turn in the inner innermost side and after that auxiliary winding 0.18 mm single wire 9 turns and in the secondary 0.5 mm 
by rifler winding two two pieces of wire seven times primary and secondary will opposite because it is fly back so thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh